Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name's Kevin Turner. I'm the innovation strategy leader for the emerging technology team. So um, my chosen topic is uh, innovation thinking. And if you like, it's the magic juice that has sustained this team over 15 or more years worth of innovation work. So it captures the essence of what we do as a culture within our own team and is something that we talk about with clients on a regular basis as well. So I'm going to talk you through five key elements that all come together and that they're all equally important, but they all have to come together to give you the capability um, as a, to do the sorts of things that this team is able to go do. So without further ado, um, the first idea is actually very, very simple and it's kind of obvious, but you'd be surprised how many people don't really reflect on it this way. And it is that the people are the most important element. Innovation comes from people. It doesn't come from machines. It doesn't come from process. So it is all about innovative people. But equally importantly, it's about the culture that they work in. It's about the space, the environment, the support, the attitude uh, that we all give to the people in, in our organization to do innovation. So um, IBM actually has innovation as one of its core values. Other companies have innovation at its core value, Google most notably. Um, other companies don't have the word innovation in their core values or their enterprise goals. And it's quite interesting to reflect on the impact that that has with those um, with those enterprises in terms of whether they are innovative or not. Uh, the second key area that we focus in on is that actually innovation has to have a reason. There has to be a, a problem to solve. So necessity is the mother of all invention. It's an ages old saying, but actually it is as true today as it always has been. Without there being a reason for you to focus your intellectual efforts to get a group of people together, you won't be productively innovative in a, in a meaningful way. So critically, you have to have a problem to solve. The third element is really all about um, making sure that you have a collection, different collection of experiences and skills and expertise that you bring together. Um, if you put a group of like-minded people in the room that have a shared set of experiences, unsurprisingly, the, uh, the innovation that you get is bounded by their experiences. So it's critical that you bring together a set of disparate people, and it's critical that you provide a collaborative working environment for those people to come together and to share their thoughts and ideas. And that's I'm sure we've all been in workshops, ideation workshops, um, hackathons. That's, that's the techniques that we use to make sure that people can collaborate in an open, open way, share their ideas and actually fine tune those ideas to come into something which becomes significant and really counts. Um, for anyone that's a manager or a leader of a team here, this is critical. And it is what the leadership team within the Emerging Technology team have really focused on. Actually, we single-handedly as leaders have the ability to kill and stifle all innovation. If we behave badly, if we tolerate negative behaviors, if we tolerate behaviors that don't encourage and support innovation, if we put down ideas very quickly without giving them a chance to live, then you can very quickly destroy any chance of innovation that you may have had. Um, so hopefully none of you will recognize or relate to any of the pictures that are on this chart as behaviors that you would observe within your own teams. Because as I say, it's a very quick way of destroying <coughs> any chance of innovation that you may possibly have had. Um, the final area is really one that is kind of critical to the ethos. Um, so uh, I, I assume everyone in the room has been a child at some time in your life. Um, uh, some of you may still have, have those tendencies in your, in your private lives as well. So this is recognizing that actually everyone can innovate. We all have it within us. It's part of the human condition. And I think in terms of the ethos, if you get the right, if you get everyone into a room and you create the context within which they can innovate and have ideas, everyone will have ideas. And it's recognizing that if you facilitate that as a leadership team, if you create those opportunities, you will always come out with a, with a broad um, and wide ranging set of ideas that are very valuable to your business. Um, so summarizing, um, this is kind of the magic equation if you like. Um, people, so the right sorts of people, but people that are well practiced with innovation with a diverse set of skills plus the culture that you set, so it's the making time for it, it's recognizing the value of it, encouraging it, nurturing, supporting it, giving it time to grow, plus a set of real world problems, real challenges that you need to go work on. If you have those things together, then you will generate the idea of innovation that matters, which is the IBM corporate value statement. Innovation that matters for our company and for the world. That's my talk with 20 seconds to go. Not getting shot today. <laughs>